The thing that I think captures people with Rapstein Blue after all this time is the sheer variety of it. There are so many different colors, so many different textures, and so many different styles within the piece that one cannot get bored. Hi, I'm Simon Tedeschi and I'm really looking forward to joining the Sydney Symphony Orchestra and Andrea Molino to play Rhapsody in Blue, the piece I've probably played more than any other, but uh, this is especially exciting because it's in my favorite hall and it's with my favorite hometown orchestra. So I look forward to seeing you there. It's an extraordinary work that is American in every way um, because it breaks the boundaries of uh, the strictures that were supposedly imposed on the concerto or the solo work with orchestra before. It's everything American in terms of freedom, you know, America and freedom, the early 20th century, and the huddled masses and the immigrants and metropolis and uh, the in in indeed the tension and that, uh, that real impasse between past and present that still characterizes America, that America is still struggling with. And so um, Rhapsody in Blue is, um, is one of these works that uh, really epitomizes a country. It is uh, the epitome of American classical music. Um, Americans, as we all know, love um, and must do things differently in music and in literature and in life. And I think that that's what's wonderful about this piece. But it uses the language of jazz and more particularly uses the language of the blues. Um, that uh, um, amazingly tenuous sound between happiness and sadness um, but it doesn't just use the blues, it uses the language of uh, Rachmaninoff um, because Gershwin's parents were Russians. Um, it, uh, it uses the language of Ravel because the, you know, the, the relationship between America and France is no, no less complicated geopolitically than musically. I mean, it uses the language of Latin America um, and it uses uh, so many languages together to create an American language. With Rhapsody in Blue, uh, like any work, my approach remains the same, which is as much as is possible, get out of the way and let the composer um, uh, talk to the audience, and I'm a medium. Gershwin is a serious composer. Um, he, he may not be um, as uh, weighty as uh, uh, Beethoven or Schubert or Bach, but he is uh, just as great in terms of conviction and uh, just as great in uh, terms of his unique importance for the time in which we now live. So my, my role is ultimately as a conduit. But because this is American music, there is also a, uh, a certain aspect of showmanship that has to be put in. So there's a theater to it as well. And uh, I will uh, hopefully uh, be able to take the audience on a journey with me.